I want to briefly share what God has shown me about house churches. Let me start by reading a few of the things that God has said to me. And if God has called you to partner with me, I believe these words will resonate in your heart. On December 7th, 2019, three months before COVID-19 was declared a pandemic, the Lord spoke to me from Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I heard the Lord say, and I captured in my journal, stop remembering last season. The last season is over. Now is the time. The new is here. You are in it now. We later found out that the COVID-19 virus had already begun to spread to various nations by that point. Then in January 2020, during fasting and prayer, God spoke numerous prophetic words, including from Luke 5, 37 and 38. No one puts new wine into old wineskins. New wine must be put into fresh wineskins. Then I received this word on January the 24th of 2020. The Lord said, the prophecy of Isaiah 60 is now coming to pass. Darkness and deep darkness are covering the eyes and minds of people. But despite this ever-increasing darkness, God is shining a bright light on His people, and He's about to show His glory in the midst of them. And the Lord said, Begin pushing the ministry down into homes. Raise up house churches. Begin launching house churches everywhere. Think about that. It was January 24th, 2020, and it seemed strange but I knew that God was speaking. So on February the 6th, during our rock conference, I taught on Isaiah chapter 60, that darkness is coming. We need to arise. We need to prepare. We need to launch house churches everywhere. Later that month and in early March, we began hearing a lot about the virus and how it was spreading. Then on March 11th, the World Health Organization declared that COVID-19 was a pandemic and church campuses across America and really around the world were closed. So some of our house churches started right away and we accelerated our plans to launch and to train leaders. Fast forward two months to May the 7th, 2020. And the Lord spoke to me as I was reading Joshua chapter one, that famous verse two, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. Here's what I heard the Lord say. Number one, Moses, my servant is dead. The way churches have done ministry in America is over and it will never be the same again. That didn't mean that campuses wouldn't reopen, but I just knew the Lord was saying, it's not gonna be quite like it was before. Number two, now therefore arise, go over this Jordan. I heard the Lord say, and I captured in my journal, now, right now, is the time to arise from the old way and wineskin of ministry and to cross over the Jordan into a whole new season. Third, you and all this people. I heard the Lord say, take everyone with you, not just the leaders. And then fourth, into the land that I am giving to them, to the people. And I heard the Lord say, and I wrote down in my journal, the new ministry, the new wineskin, the promised land is not for the pastors and leaders. It's for the people. The promised land are, is their destinies. So equip them to fulfill their ministries. And when they fulfill their ministries, you've fulfilled yours. So we officially launched our house churches on May 31st, 2020 on Pentecost Sunday which is really the anniversary of the early church, the birth of the church in Acts chapter two. And now we've launched hundreds of house churches and some have already begun to multiply. Now listen to what God told me on May the 6th, 2020. I'll never forget it. He said, I have called you to plant churches all over the world. I have graced you to call forth thousands of pastors and to activate them. Your job is not to make them successful, but to equip them for the ministry. I will move upon them by my spirit, and some of them will start movements of disciple making and church planting. For I am doing a mighty work in the earth, says the Lord, 
and I have ordained this ministry to be a catalyst in many nations. Friends, the darkness of this world is increasing right before our eyes, and God is calling many people to be pastoral leaders, normal, everyday people who never thought themselves pastors, and yet the Lord is calling them to start churches and to pastor people. Let me give you five reasons to launch a house church. <laughs> Number one, because God tells you to. If he's calling you to do it, that's the only reason you need. Number two, because house churches are biblical. This is how church was done in the book of Acts and in all of the early church writings. Number three, because house churches meet people's needs. There's something about being in a smaller gathering where you can get personal prayer and have conversation about what you're going through and what God is speaking to you. Number four, because house churches are right in the harvest. They're in the neighborhoods where the people are. And number five, because house churches can multiply much, much faster than campus churches. I know that God has called me to equip and partner with many people to launch and lead house churches all over the world. Here's all you need to do. Just fill out the house church interest form and we'll walk you through the process. Here's what I know. The time is short. So if you hear God speaking to your heart and would like to start a house church, either with the rock or solid lives, simply fill out the house church interest form and we'll work with you from there. And I would count it a privilege to partner with you in the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ.